play is you just you, you go into a week, you see something you think might work. Um, we always play to win. Like sometimes, you know, we're not, we don't look aggressive because plays don't work. Um, going for the two point play at the end, it was, that was my call. It was a gut call. Felt like, you know, we were having, they were, they were scoring, we were scoring. We had the ball. We had to make one play to win. It took a lot of different, you know, instead of having to score again, we would have had the ball first. Um, so, obviously, it didn't work, but you know, that was my call. So, I don't know if we're trying to be aggressive, we're just trying to win. Matt, in, in that in that situation, do you just want your kids to you know, make a play to win a game, and, and you feel that they they deserve that chance at that point, and not take it into a second? Oh. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's always depending on how a game is going. Right, every every game is different, and sometimes you feel like you know, every game is different. I, I we felt I talked to I made the decision before before they scored, and I said I sat with Pig and talked to him. We had two choices. Uh, you know, two two-point plays. That's what we both liked. We called it. And we were just a little bit off. Uh, hi, Coach. Uh, Spent loss. Uh, your team racked up 535 uh, total offensive yards uh, against a team like Ohio State. Uh, how are you feeling about that? No. I appreciate the question. Obviously, our, we, we moved the ball well. I thought, I thought we ran the ball well. We had some explosive plays. Pig made some really good throws. And all those things are, are good. As I mentioned at the opening, I'm really just proud of how we came out and played. Right? A lot of people would have doubted us, did doubt us, did doubt them. Um, so stats, stats don't matter. You either win or you lose. But I appreciate your point. We're certainly proud of how hard they played. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. This game, either on the field or off, do you want to send to your players, even especially the seniors who are going off? What What is the message from this game that you would like them to learn? The message is nobody matters but us. And, uh, you know, they believe we had a great week of practice. Um, it's week, whatever this is, you got camp and 11 games and a bye week, so I don't know what it is, 16, 17. It's been a long season. And, uh, they worked really hard. They practiced really hard. They believed in each other. They leaned on each other. They trusted each other. You know, I'm just I'm, I'm disappointed that we didn't win the game because all that stuff is fine. And you know the lesson is, and that's what I'm not proud of them. So I told them after the game, as a staff, we're really proud of them. And they played really hard. And uh, they just, you know, I will, we wish we'd have won. That's it. When McLean was down, I saw you kind of talk to one of the refs, and it was after Raymond Davis, I think, had his like third penalty. It seemed like the refs were favoring Ohio State with penalties. What was that conversation? You know how badly I'd like to answer that question, but <laughs> I'm not allowed to. And I even said before I was going to. Um, you know, they they see what they see. We see what we see. Um, <laughs> There was, there were, I, I was a little frustrated. I, got, I did get frustrated today, so we'll watch it on the film. Go from there. I can't. By rule, I'm not allowed to talk about it, so I got all my people up there watching me to make sure I don't make a mistake, so I'm not going to say any more about it. No. But I'd like to. Yes. Matt, you still, Steve still has a lot to play for next week. How difficult will it be? to get these guys back up after a game like this or because of what they've been through, this is not a normal team when it comes to the specifics. It won't be hard at all. I mean, last week everybody in the country said we were done, right? So, you know, freaking season's over. Shouldn't even play these last two. Our guys will be fine. Tomorrow will be hard. 24 hours, we'll watch it. Just what both those guys said, proud of them, right? There'll be a play. Should have made this play, could have made this play. Throw it away here, make this tackle. We'll coach it. We'll talk it, and we'll get up and 
come in on Monday, we'll get a plan together and they'll go work. So they won't back. I have no doubt we'll come back and play where they are next week. That's who they are. So, Coach, I know you said that um, you had a chance to talk to the seniors and talk about how the, the whole team, how proud you were, how they played today. Is there anything you can share about what you said to them or what they may have said to you this week and today just about uh, this season and the things that they've been through that they just would never have expected to have, uh, to have had to deal with? Yeah, I mean, I think we just think, you know, Football's the greatest game in the world. You know, it takes so many people, and when you are a senior, you've played, we got one guy's played for six years. So um, you put five years in, we got you know, trades and transfer by, we got a couple transfers, and there's been some hard bumps in any, any football player's career. You look at his seat, his time, he's gonna have some tough times. And then certainly this season has been not, uh, not to script. So what they've gone through, battle, but I told them, and I meant it. I think this season we've all learned more than anybody could have ever imagined. We've learned how you can stick together. You know, we've learned how to believe in each other. So we wanted to honor the seniors. I think we did. It was really exciting. Senior day was great. The seniors had different people that they wanted to honor and be on the field with them, from our academic staff to um, our administrative staff. And uh, that really made me happy. We talked about it, and I thought that was a great representation of how classy our seniors are, that they realize how many people have helped them get here. So and it's a really good group. They've been through a lot, a lot of coaches. And, uh, and then you have injuries and all those other things, and obviously we've had some stuff. So we were told we are proud of them, wanted to honor them. I think we did. Now, we didn't win. That's on me. But we honor them. Coach, the uh, last four or five months, you've focused on what these kids need to get through a lot of tough moments. This is the last home game here. Have you had a minute to think about where you stand and your status and, and the situation and where it goes from here for you? Nope. We got a day-to-day -day deal. Been the deal since whenever that day started. That'll be the deal until the season's over. And I got the greatest job in America. You guys got to go write stuff and hope somebody buys your papers or whatever you guys do. I get to hang out with a bunch of great kids and talk about football. So I'm winning. I wish we'd have won this game, but I'm winning. Uh, Coach, still really after the game, obviously, but where does this one stack up as far as games you've been a part of, as far as emotion and just back and forth the, pretty much the whole game? It would just stack up as one of those losses that I wish I had called a better play or two here and there that we didn't win. I mean, it's, you know, you know, the losses are the ones you remember the most. And, uh, so I don't know. That's a, that's a good. I appreciate your question. I don't have an answer. It's, it's hard because I think our kids played so hard, and I wish uh, I wish I had done a better job. Matt, I don't know if you touched on this uh, earlier, but the game, uh, big room play, uh, the passes he made, and, and, and even even the last play. Um, talk about what this kid did, did the last two weeks in the, in the situation. So. Yeah, I think he's, you know, he does a lot of good things, and then you know, there's some things we always want to improve upon, get rid of the ball at times. But, I mean, he, he made some big-time throws. He plays very confident. Um, he had a tremendous week of practice this week. Um, he put us in a position to win the game. Obviously, a lot of the plays he made did that. Um, you know, again, I thought we ran the ball well. He, he managed that pretty good. He got us in and out of the plays he was supposed to do. And there's a lot. You know, being a quarterback is it's the greatest position in all sport. It doesn't mean you're more important than anybody else, but there's a lot to it, right? You get all the credit, you get all the blame. I know he's having a tough time right now. I'm proud of how hard he played. I'm proud of how, you know, the plays he made. Um, he'll be back and we'll coach him tomorrow. Coach him on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and we'll play again on Saturday. But uh, he's a really good player, a great kid. Uh, you had a lot of young players come in and make huge plays for you guys today. What was where was that confidence? How did you get that confidence in them for playing Ohio State? Well, we talked all, I mean, I think the challenge, you know, I mean, it wasn't necessarily to the seniors, the challenge this week was to go out and play our best football and not worry about who we were playing against. I mean, we've had some games, those of you who've been covering us, obviously some games we go out and play really well against a certain team, and other games we haven't gone out and played that way. So 
I did try to have an approach and a little bit different way of looking at it this week of saying, let's just you know make sure we're being us. Let's play as good as we can play. Let's believe in each other. And I don't mean that that we haven't done that, but if you've covered us, there's been some games we haven't played as well against certain people. And that's because the people are really good, just like this team was. The weather or the ball or the bad calls or whatever. But we challenge them to just focus on us, play the best game we can play. And that wasn't necessarily just the young guys. To your question, that was everybody. And I think they did that. I thought we I thought we played well. Matt, uh, the numbers of a number, I'm not going to bother with that, but good idea. <laughs> <laughs> but Anthony's game in general, what, what what was what particularly stood out? And was it even better than, than a week ago, regardless of? Yeah, I mean, the you know, thing, like you mentioned, credit, you know, we blocked them pretty good up front. We did a pretty good job looking at some things they did, and we had a chance to cut him loose. And, and then obviously he got to the second level when he broke tackles. Right there was a linebacker a couple times. I think the first run of safety missed him. Um, he's a special player. And then I thought Fleet came in and ran really well. Leak, what Leak scored on a touchdown? I don't even remember now. But Leak, I think Leak scored on a touchdown on the other side. Um, so we had a lot of guys making plays. You know, to her question, it was right. We had some young guys make some catches. Um, but I thought Ian, Ian ran hard like he does. And uh, obviously the guy. We got to we're not, we got to do a better job taking care of the football. In two weeks now, we put the ball on the ground. We've been so good at that. That's who we are, and, and we were fortunate to get them back. That one at the end of the game there was critical, and uh, so I, I got to do a better job with that. But he's a special player, and I'm happy for him. Last one in the back. Wayne. You have developed most of this talent. Most of the guys you just brought up weren't here last year. The guys who caught the long passes and didn't play. We played a little bit. Do you think they finally understand your system? The receivers are in the right place. The blocks are in the right place. Are they getting better? Are you getting a better adjusted to them? How did this develop? Oh, they're getting better. I, I think our system. We've understood. I think we're probably and certainly experience is, is great in, any, in anything you do in life, right? We all get a little bit better as we do it more and more. And um, you know, some of we got a, we got a lot of this program is is on the rise. Everybody knows that. If you will actually pay attention um, because there's a bunch of talent on the edge out there. Those young wideouts can play. The running backs can play. I said a few weeks, there's only one ball. That's the biggest problem that's going to be here. It's, it's only one, there's only one ball. There's a lot of really, really good talent and uh, really good skilled players here uh, to spread the ball around to and make plays with. And, you know, I thought, yeah, again, I thought Big played, played well today and got the ball to the right guys. Um, we made some plays, and then obviously, like whoever made the, the, the fake punt, we got Wade in there, the thirty-year-old, thirty-year-old punter threw a pass and completed it. So, talk about being nervous about that. I mean, but he did a great job. He didn't grow up playing catch, so it was a little bit scary. But, uh, so they all they all played really well. And it, uh, it was six inches. We say it all the time: six inches will make you a star. And uh, that game was six inches away. I think I watch it on the tape, but I think we were. The ball's a little bit inside. I think we ran in here and everybody's a little different feel to them. So credit Ohio State. You know, they, they didn't give up. We got up on them right. The momentum started going. And, uh, they kept playing hard, too. They kept scoring points. But credit our guys because they didn't quit. You know, right? and a lot of people think, oh, something bad happens and Maryland's going to do this and Maryland's going to do that. Well, Maryland didn't do that. Maryland had a play. They made one. We made one. That's what Maryland did today. And uh, I wish we'd have, we'd have been a little bit better on the last play or any other play. But... The story's our players, it's always our players, how hard they played, how hard they played together. And it's a tough one, like Trey said. You know, I don't know if we'll go, when you say devastated, but I mean, it's a tough day. We put a lot into this. We put a lot into this to, to a week. We put a lot into winning football games, and, and it's tough to lose them. But uh, I'm not going to lose sight of how special they are and how hard they play.